Hello everyone and welcome to Jumperman Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we are working on a P-Tech unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumperman Tech. This is an island air unit with heating and cooling and we're going to begin by taking off the face cover. Here's a look at the unit without the cover. Inside here is the control panel. As you can see, we have a gas line. So this is actually a furnace in here and an air conditioner. If we look below here, here is our plug. This is 208 volts. We wanna make sure we have a green light indicating that we have the proper voltage. It's not exactly summertime and it's not exactly winter time. So we're not in exact season. Well, we're going to test both heating and cooling. We're going to start with setting the system to cooling. It's 72 degrees in the room and we dropped it down to 70. I just heard a click. We have a steady cool on. And nothing is happening. These units are tricky. So let's open up this panel. Oh, everything is loose here. I'm gonna put a screw in here so this like kind of holds up. All right, so here's our control board. There's nothing at all going on in here. Let's see. These boards typically have fuses in them. Oh yeah, right there. Fuse right there. I can see the conductor inside. Everything's good. Let's make sure our thermostat's actually calling. So let's check for 24 volts here. So I got these little micro leads so you can test inside little harnesses. Let's set our meter to volts. So let's check between R and C. Let's see if we even have 24 volts, nothing. Yeah. Between the red and black wire is R and C, so power and common. We have nothing. This transformer is 208 volts in. Then we have 24 volts coming out of it and actually 11. Let's make sure, so this is the input for the transformer. Let's make sure we got 208 volts there. Because if there's no power there, there's nothing. Let's see. All right, there you see 210 volts. So we got our 208. You know, inside here, let's see, yellow should be our 24. So we got power coming in the transformer and no power coming out. So let's unplug that and get to the transformer. It's crazy in here. It's honestly, these units are, I feel like they're harder to troubleshoot than like most commercial units. Transformers back there. Let's try to get those screws off and let's pull it out. All right, so I pulled out the transformer. So like I said, the input is 208 volts. That is our red wires, which go into the board right here. Then it says the white and white. So these two wires between these two, we're supposed to have 11 volts. And these two yellow wires where I can see somebody cut at some point. So to have 24 volts. All right, so we're unplugging this part. We're unplugging this. Let's just confirm what we believe. So let's make sure we got 208 coming out of the board. We had it last time. So let's just double check. All right, 208 volts, copy. In between here, 
should have 24. Nothing. All right. In between here, we should have 11. Nothing. This is a bad transformer. Here I have another transformer. So the input is the same, 208 to 230. We have 12 volts on the white and white and 24 on the blue and blue. So the only thing different about these are the actual connections on the board. So what I'm gonna do is keep all the connections on the board and then splice them. All right, so right here is our 208 input. Let me keep those wires long. By the way, I turned the power off. I just unplugged it. So let's splice this and connect it with that transformer input and make sure we have the output voltage to make sure that works. All right, so I just plugged the power in. All I did was connect the input. So let's check for 208 here. All right, so we have our 208. So between the blue and blue, we should have 24. Right there, we have our 25 volts. Great. And then between this ones, we should have 12. All right, 12.5, so right there, this is a good transformer. So what I'm gonna do is wire not this, then I'm gonna use this piece to connect into the board and just splice them and connect it accordingly. So here's the old transformer. The color coding is the same except for the 24 volts. So our 208 is the two red wires, same thing for these two. Then the 11 volts is white, this is actually 12 volts, but it's no big deal. So it's too white, so white to white. But the 24 volts on this transformer was yellow, but on this transformer is blue. So I put the two blue wires to the two yellow, and you can see I reused the connections at the board because these don't fit because it's for a different unit. We're gonna plug it in and see what happens. Set the system to cooling. got a flashing on the cool so a timer has engaged let's give it a few minutes and see what happens all right the fan started and I can hear the compressor so that definitely did it for the cooling side got a bad transformer the million dollar question is why did it go bad Make sure there's no exposed metal showing on any of these low voltage connections and same for the inside here make sure nothing's touching metal where it could possibly short out one thing i did see was that somebody was messing with this transformer it was kind of just like laying on the side inside the screw wasn't even fully in there so you never know what people did but regardless we got this unit going now in cooling let's check temperature We're already in the 50s, and I can feel it, it's super cold. 56 degrees, 55. So our cooling is definitely running. Let's let this run for a little bit, make sure this stays on, and then we can check the heating. So I just turned the system off. It's been running for about 10 minutes. Everything is good. I would like to test it for heat, but the issue right now is that there's actually no gas in this apartment since this is a vacant apartment. I determined that by checking the stove. And if we try to do this, there's no gas, there's no smell. It's trying to light. So we can't actually test the heat. 
if there's no gas. So that was pretty much it. We just gotta put this transformer neatly in there and secure it. And that's about it. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Thank you.